Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. I am so happy to be here today with my colleagues from the Liberal Party of Canada, and most importantly, with all of you, the Sangha. This month, from Gurdwaras across the country, we join hundreds of thousands of Canadians in celebrating the, creati the creation of Khalsa. Vasaki is truly a celebration of those Sikh ideals that are at the foundations of our democracy. Guru Gobind Singh Ji worked to create a society that is founded on equality, on hard work, and on community service. In other words, a just society. In this, we see a common thread that runs through the faiths that unite and nurture our communities. It is reflective of the very best of ourselves to recognize and realize the full potential for all Canadians. Just as the month of April is a defining moment in the Sikh faith, our nation was defined 31 years ago when the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms was signed. This guiding spirit within Khalsa echoes in our Charter of Rights and Freedoms. It is the enshrinement of diversity, the defense of our individual rights and religious freedoms. This defines the greatness that is Canada. The Charter is profoundly empowering. No Canadian should need to make the choice between their religion and activities in their day-to-day -day lives. Baltaj Singh Dillon, an RCMP officer who fought to be able to maintain his religious identity while serving on duty. Gurbaj Singh Multani, the 12-year-old child who accidentally dropped his kippon at school, fought to ensure that they were not banned in schools. The Charter, just like Guru Gurbin Singh Ji's teachings, is a living document. It is meant to be lived, and if necessary, vigorously discussed and defended. It must provide defense for all. In these cases, the Charter ensured the protection of the five Ks that Guru Gobind Singh Ji installed as powerful symbols for a collective faith. We must continue to fight to ensure that these rights are upheld. These These young Sikhs who would want to play soccer with other youth should know their religious freedoms will be protected. We must stand shoulder to shoulder with them. To those that devalue and diminish our rights and freedoms, we must always stand together to ensure that they are upheld and preserved. Let us be empowered and proud to be Canadian. And as we affirm the rights of all individuals, we affirm the kind of Canada we want our children to inherit. A Canada whose greatness is based on its diversity. A Canada that does not tolerate division or fear. A Canada that once again serves as an example to the world. Our nation has advanced from over a century of contributions of Sikh Canadians in virtually every field of endeavor. When we look to our future, we know that in the Sikh community, we will find the future leaders of our country. People such as Lieutenant Colonel Harjit Singh Saja, the first Sikh Canadian commander in the Army. And organizations like the Seva Food Bank and the Guru Gobind Singh Ji's Children Foundation. Wherever we see actively engaged young citizens in their communities, we are ensuring that no Canadian is left behind. This is the vision for a Canada that 314 years ago this month, Guru Gobind Singh Ji would have smiled upon and blessed, just as we bless all that was given to us with the creation of Khalsa. Thank you.